Hello everyone, glad you can make it. My name is Anna Stashkina and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this demonstration I'm going to show you how to make wafer paper sunflower and how to assemble your flower using wire and without any wire. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's begin. And for this particular demonstration, I'm not going to use any templates because I wanted to show you the easiest way how to make a simple uh, wafer paper flower without any special templates and everything like this. And uh, for this type of sunflower, I'm going to use about 12 in this large size and 9 in this small size. Roughly measure how much wafer paper I need something like this. So I have a few more petals here and you can see that I cut them in different sizes because we will use all of them just to add different texture and visual interest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take maybe four at a time. Let's do, I have 12, so I'll take six and six. I prefer the bumpy side to be my face side because I love all the textures and everything. So I'm placing all my six petals here, bumpy side up. And I'm going to use my contraption, this one. You'll probably already seen this before. And you can use regular steamer or sometimes if I do not have this on hand, I just use a spritzer like lightly mist because I need to add just a little bit of moisture to my petals to make sure that they are soft and pliable. Take my Dresden tool, uh, this uh, like thick side of the Dresden tool and gently press this down. So I want to create just a little bit of movement and make my petals not so flat. So here again I have my tiny petals, so I will take the other end of my Dresden tool and press them down. So next step what we are going to do is we are going to make our sunflower center and to do that I'm going to use this center mold. This one is by Wilton, but it doesn't matter. You can even use uh, just a round uh, cook cutter. Nothing specific about that. What you need to do is apply a little bit of cornstarch. I'm going to use this large cavity and you need to work your gum paste and make sure that is relatively soft and smooth. So you can use the heat of your hands to smooth your gum paste down. And I'm going to shape it here. So I'm pressing it down and having a little bit of the height in the middle. So you can see it is not flat. And then I'm going to take a piece of wire. I'm using 18 gauge wire, uh, but because wafer paper is relatively light, you can use I don't know, 22, even 22 gauge wire will work. And I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to take my pliers and create light viral shape, I would say, like this. And then I'm going to bring my part here in the middle. And then I'm going to bring this up 90 degrees, like this. So what I have here is this umbrella style like T shape because my center is thick and made out of gum paste so I wanted to make sure that I can support my gum paste center. Is I'm going to burn this part like the top part and make it hot and if it's hot enough you can you should hear some sound like sizzling sound of your um, gum paste is drying immediately then you can remove this from your center 
And next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, these two tools. One is my tweezers. And I'm going to press just around the outer edge. So you can see even just few little snips already made it interesting. And then I'm going to use this Nicholas Lodges tool and just make a few indentations in the middle. And this is going to be my sunflower center. To use it and to make it even more interesting, I'm going to create a hook like this and I will hang it upside down to dry for maybe three hours or something overnight, preferably overnight. And then what you will get is something like this. You can see all these textures. And then what I'm going to do next is show you another way to make the center same small piece of gum paste and you can press it down don't forget to apply a touch of cornstarch not too much so you can do this piece just flat like this and then you can remove it do all the stains let it dry and you can use it flat so you can make something like this you don't need to apply your stem to your uh, sunflower and then it will be much safer if you don't want to use any wires and then you can use just a little bit of royal icing to attach it to your cake so that's two ways to do uh, the same thing so i'm going to take brown gel color just a little bit a little bit of alcohol i'm using alcohol because it dries much faster and to apply pollen and all different texture to my sunflower center i'm going to use ground coffee grounds and so that's what i'm going to use to create texture for my sunflower center so i'm going to color my gum paste center using gel color brown gel color and a little bit of alcohol and then you will need it to let it to dry for maybe a few hours take a piece of wafer paper cut roughly size of my back side and I'm going to paint with wafer paper glue so I'm going to apply just a touch of wafer paper glue and press it down because wafer paper won't stick to gum paste as easily as it will stick to wafer paper itself so I'm going to press it down and make sure that it sticks and cut the excess wafer paper and because we are making a lot of petals it's easy to attach one piece of wafer paper to the underside and then to glue all your petals to wafer paper not to gum paste and then i'm going to touch my petal with wafer paper glue and attach to my center and you can see i'm placing my petals 90 degree 180 degrees from each other on other sides because that what makes it easier for me to attach them and to assemble them yeah, so i have a piece of foil here if you have a bowl or smaller that you can shape your foil on you can definitely use that and i'm going to do a hole in the middle put a touch of cornstarch place it like this and turn it upside down it is going to dry like this much easier and for me it's much easier to see so now we are going to work on the our second layer or our inner layer for our petals so while we are waiting for our layer to dry i'm going to bring just a touch of powder dust this is orange color dust and i'm going to take just a tiny 
amount of this orange dust and dust my first layer in the middle. So I'm going to take my tiny pedal and this is the bottom side. So this is our face side for the pedal. So what I'm going to do is I take my back side, my smooth side, and apply just a touch of beef paper glue. And then I'm going to place my pedal somewhere in between. And I will do for the same for other pedals. <laughs> You can use cosmetic sponges, these are just regular like triangular cosmetic sponges and then insert in between your layers and after it's dry you can remove all your sponges but you will have all the difference between your layers. So I hope you enjoy this and you will try maybe work with the Vita paper and create your own flower. So if you do, tag me on any social media as Tashkina Cakes and I will see you here next Sunday, same time, same place. So have a wonderful day. Bye bye. <laughs>